Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This one isn't actually going to be a tutorial, this one is on a project that I've been working on. Um, if you've been following a lot of our tutorials, you would have seen that I mentioned Project Jarvis and Project Jarvis Mini. Uh, this is a demo of it actually working. I never released a video for it, but if you are keeping up to date on my website, you would have seen that I posted um, the drawing for the relay board, which if you look on the right hand side of your screen, bottom right hand side, you'll see a live video. I'm actually recording it while I'm speaking. Um, you can see an Arduino with an Arduino Ethernet shield uh, on a breadboard of course and well it's connected to a breadboard and then the wires go to a relay board that I made and if you check out my website I'll put it in the description you can see how I made the relay board and uh, what each thing does there you can see I have three LEDs and I just added that for showing you guys that it is actually switching on and off and it also provides feedback telling me if the relay is on or off so this is a simple program I wrote in Java called the Relay Switcher um, it has three on buttons and three off buttons and if you look at the video again um, you can see there's three relays and I'll point to them now that's relay one two three and the LEDs are those three so yeah this is a code on the left for the Arduino now it communicates with the RXTX uh, communication library I downloaded that and I installed it and everything so if I scroll down you can see it's using the port and uh, Actually, I should edit that out before you guys start turning my lights on and off. But uh, you can see I'm using A, B, and C, and 1, 2, and 3. So when I send A to the serial monitor, it basically turns on pin 5. And if I send 1 to the serial monitor, it will turn it off. And obviously the same thing with 2 and 3. So if you look on my program here, the first button is sending A, and the off is sending 1. This is B, that's C, this is 2, and that's 3. So it's already been uploaded and if you look at the video when I click on you can see the first LED goes on and if I click it off it goes off. Now that switching noise you're hearing is a relay. Um, that's the noise it makes when the contacts get hit together. So that's one and that's two and that is the third one. Now those LEDs and those sounds are telling me that the relays are on. So if I turn, I can turn them off as well. I can switch on any one of them I like at any time. And there you go, that's the short video. And I'm actually going to switch over to my Windows 8 tablet and show you guys the entire program with the Jarvis written software and the speech recognition part of this program which will also switch the relays on and off but I will actually connect it to my lights, my desk lights and I'll show you how my desk light switches on and off so I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, welcome back. I'm currently on my Windows 8 tablet now, as you can see, Windows Live Tile, and uh, this is what it looks like. Let me just show you guys really quick. It's got a detachable keyboard, my PS3 microphone, whatever, and yeah, that's what it looks like. So, as you can see, I've added two wires for my relay board with this uh, two-terminal block, the blue thing. And it goes behind my tablets and into the light switch. And I can still control that switch, or that light, with the switch uh, by manually flicking it on and off. But that's no fun. So I'm just going to turn the light off now using the program I showed you guys earlier. And there you go, it's off. So uh, let's get back to the actual code. So I'm going to play this or run it. And boot up any second, there we go. Okay, so the first thing to notice is information bar on the top. It tells me, you know, all the info I need to know, time, date, stuff like that. I have indeed been uploaded, sir. Please state your password to proceed. Okay, so it's telling me to state my password before I can continue using the speech recognizer. If I don't um, say my password, it'll actually not work. Well, the speech won't work. You can still use a program. You can see I can still open the music by uh, clicking or tapping on the screen and uh, stuff like that. I can even open up my Facebook. There we go, Facebook will open up. And, um, yeah, okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have to log in. And because I'm admin, I'm actually the developer of this program. Developed the whole thing myself. And my friend, Daniil, who you guys should know by now, he actually did the background and the images and stuff. 
So I have to log in first, and I'll do that now. Jarvis, log in as administrator. I am now online and ready, sir. Okay, so I've logged in, and it's given me a message. Um, as most of you know, if you guys have been looking around for software that works like this, you'll see a lot of people actually just taking the Java sound straight out the movie. And in the background, is still playing the song. But yeah, they just use the sound taken straight out of the Iron Man movie. I'm actually using Ivona Text to Speech, and it's generating a sound file uh, when I log in, when I ask it to do stuff, you know, as you guys heard, it uh, said yes, uh, and you know. Jarvis, open the music window. As you wish, sir. That's the music window. You can select a song from here. You can play some Eminem, open up the song. But I'm not going to do that now because I haven't implemented a stop button, so it's just going to play throughout the entire video. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to turn the uh, lights on and off now. And let me just show you guys. Okay. Jarvis, activate desk light. Yes, sir. And there's a feedback sound. There's an LED for the relay. And there's a light. Jarvis, terminate desk light. Yes, sir. That's off. And the relay is off. There we go. And that's not trickery. That's actually... It's actually working. Okay, so it actually can play your last known song. So if you play your, play your favorite song uh, yesterday and maybe you wanted to play this song while you're brushing your teeth, it can do that. And I'll show you the command now. Jarvis, play a song. Right away, sir. You're gonna be okay, kid. There you go. You're gonna be okay. It's everything not enough. What more can I give up? Is there anyone that I can trust? Okay, so that's a quick demo of the program. Um, hopefully YouTube won't ban the video for playing the song, but uh, that's okay. And also, there's one more thing on the left-hand side, this blue orb. As you can see, if you click it, it opens up this menu. And you can see the developers, right here. It's got the help, software information, as you can see. It gives a brief description of the software and when it's running. How to use it, uh, what version we're using, this is 1.0. So, and here's a help menu. So, yeah, that's about it so far. And uh, the settings as well. You can see these are the settings. Music, your default directory, which I mentioned earlier. You can keep track of your most recent song. I'll add a bar here. Uh, lights and appliances as well. And the Twitter. So, yeah, internet really slow. And that's my Twitter, so you can follow me and the website as well. I'll just open this up to show you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And uh, if you scroll down a bit, you can see the hardware update. And there's a relay, the schematic, so. And also the pictures, as you guys know, I showed you in the video. So, yeah, I hope you guys liked the, the demo. And if you did, please subscribe to us. And uh, if you do want to see more of this, please let me know. Maybe I'll make uh, future updates available on YouTube. It mostly goes on my WordPress website. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys.